shoot discs up to 20 feet. This is a disc shooter. It's designed to use all printed parts. No metal springs, screws or any other parts are needed. With the aid of slow motion, we can see the discs being fired. Always use this device responsibly. It could cause damage or injury. Now for a demonstration at normal speed. And again in slow motion. Total print time is about 8 to 9 hours. Once the parts have been printed, they just need to be assembled. Start with the handle. It's important to align the parts very carefully to make sure that the cutout lines up with the slot in the handle. The slider is the key component to the device. Make sure that the circular hole is on the same side as the slot in the handle. The slider can go either way up, but for best results put the filleted edge of the circle to the top. For the next piece, do the same as before. Line up the cutout with the slot in the handle. For the top piece, the flat edge should be lined up with the slot in the handle. Then it's a case of carefully holding all the parts together, turning them over and inserting the long bolts and tightening gently with a screwdriver. Be careful not to over tighten. The main body is now complete. Move the slider to make sure that it will slide back and forth. Finally, we can attach the spring. It's probably a good idea to print out two or three copies of the spring because it will weaken and potentially snap over time. Simply insert into the slot in the handle, making sure that the flat side of the spring is to the top, and then simply insert the screws and again tighten carefully. Be careful not to over tighten. That's it, the disc shooter is now complete. It's best to check that it works properly by pulling back on the slider and making sure that the spring is pulled back. And pull back a little harder and the spring should fire into the device. Repeat this test two or three times just to make sure that everything's working correctly. Now we can load up the discs and start firing. It's not advisable to fire quite so close to a target as we do in this video. The discs will come back fairly fast and can hurt. We hope you have fun printing and making this device.